talking about the Ruby Love period kit and sharing with you guys some of my scary period stories and giving you guys some tips and tricks on how I dealt with periods when I was younger because I know a lot of young girls are on my channel and I felt like this video would just be really informative to share with you guys some of my experiences as well as take you guys along with me while I go through the Ruby Love period kit, talk about all the items that are in it, um, show you guys the period underwear and um, the benefits of it, and talk about some of my favorite things in the kit and you guys can come along with me and build your own kit so that way if you are interested in purchasing from Ruby Love you guys can kind of see the um, items that I use and the items that I think are beneficial to have in your period kit so yes without further ado I'm gonna go ahead and get into the video and share with you guys one of my embarrassing period stories kind of talk about how I dealt with it and then dive right into building my period emergency kit so the first thing that I mainly want to go over with you guys is my period story and one of my most embarrassing period stories I know that we've all had them now if you haven't had your period yet you probably you know won't really be able to relate to what I'm talking about but I do want to share this with you guys for those of you who had or those of you who are expecting it so you don't have to feel embarrassed if something like this ever happens to you so um, I was about 13 years old um, and I was in I believe junior high yeah I was in junior high school so I was just to that age where I was maturing I was getting a lot more friends you know I was getting older I was learning about my body and I had had my period at this point for about three years now because I got my period when I was around 10 years old so I'll never forget I was sitting in class and I was you know just doing the work like normal it was probably like lunchtime so I had at least like three or four hours to the day left and I remember I was wearing pads at this time I didn't wear tampons yet because I was too scared of them so I wore pads at the time and I was sitting in class and then the bell rings to like go line up by the door I don't know if you guys remember like the single file line that teachers in school used to make you do I don't really know if they still do that now but back when I was in school we used to have to line up before the bell at the door and then when the bell rang we would get dismissed so I'll never forget I was sitting at my desk and I was wearing gray sweatpants and like a white shirt from Hollister and then I didn't have a jacket on or anything because it was like in the middle of spring so it was like still pretty warm outside so the bell rings and I get up to go to my next class and I'm standing there you know minding my business and then all of a sudden my friend walks up to me and I'm standing there probably for about like five minutes and she goes Brie like you have something on the back of your pants and I'm like what and she goes you bled through your pants I'm pretty sure so I'm sitting there thinking oh my gosh I just got up in my whole in the front of my whole class basically and everybody saw the blood on the back of my pants or at least they saw until my friend told me and then she finally told me she kind of hid behind me and then followed me to the bathroom and I literally hid in the bathroom for like the next 30 45 minutes until my mom could come pick me up from school because it was towards the end of the day anyway so I was texting my mom just like oh my gosh like I'm too embarrassed like I'm in the bathroom can you come pick me up from school so I literally hid in the bathroom till she got there and then I went down to the nurse's office into the office and basically told them what happened and you know my mom told them why I was leaving and and it was just super embarrassing like I will literally never forget I um, was just getting off my period so I had used my last pad for that day and I didn't have any more so like when I went to the bathroom I had to like go buy one of the pads out of the thing and it was just a complete mess I didn't have a change of clothes and like I didn't want to walk all the way to the nurse's office with like blood on the back of my pants because I was so embarrassed and it was just like traumatizing for a 13 year old especially like you know being still new to periods and still trying to learn like my flow and stuff like that because I wasn't expecting to still really beyond my period because I thought I was basically almost off of it but you know that just goes to show that sometimes Aunt Flo can surprise you and you think you might be off your period and then she's like psych nope you're not off of it so that's probably one of the most embarrassing period stories that I wanted to share with you guys and if anything like that has ever happened to you guys comment down below and let me know um, I have done a couple other videos about periods um, as well but this is probably one of the most embarrassing things that's happened to me that kind of has to do with my period that I thought that I would share with you guys so definitely share some of your stories in the comments down below and let me know so now without further ado the star of this video which is going to be the Ruby love period kit I'm gonna show you guys all the items in the kit as well as this awesome box that the kit comes in and you guys are going to go along throughout this video and basically build the period kit with me and I'm basically gonna go over all the cool fun facts about everything in this kit and why I think it's beneficial to use and why I think you guys should go snag one because if I would have had this a few years ago this definitely would have been awesome first things first you get 
get this awesome keepsake box, which I think is really cool. So you can keep all the items um, from your period kit in this box if you don't want to like, you know, take it with you or if you're traveling or if you're moving. And you can also keep other things in here. So I think it's awesome that they ship it in this really nice big box. So the first thing I see when I open the box is a Ruby Love Gets Her Period. It's just like a little guide to navigating that time of the month, which I think is really, really awesome, especially if you're a younger girl and you know, you don't really have that mentor in your life to help you navigate it. If you do get this kit, it does have some awesome tips and tricks in here for you as well. So it's basically just like a book and it literally talks about navigating your whole entire period. So I'll show you guys a little bit of it. It talks about basically Ruby Love and it gives her story of when she got her first period, what she did, kind of how she reacted, how she dealt with her period at night, how she dealt with her period and her mood. But I won't really spoil it with you guys, but I thought that was definitely a really cool addition to this kit. And we have the bag itself, which is what we're going to build our kit with. So this is the bag that I'm going to use. It's red. It has all these cute polka dots on it. And then it just says Ruby. It's a really decent sized bag too. So you're going to be able to keep like a lot of tampons and pads and as well um, as the period underwear in here as well. And then they also include a first period kit Q&A and hacks, which I thought was really awesome. So to kind of show you guys some of the things that are in here, um, they say, what is a period and why do we have them? A period is when the body releases tissue from the uterus that it no longer needs. And it does that every single month. The uterine, uterine lining gets thicker to prepare for the fertile egg. If the egg doesn't get fertilized, the lining is released from the body. And then your body has a period, which is where, you know, obviously blood comes from your vagina. So um, it just talks about like all these different things, like how often I have a period how long will it last why is my period blood brown it talks about cramps it says a banana a day could help keep your cramps away and then it says if you're tired during your period go to bed an hour early so I thought that was really cool that it gave you this nice informative little kit especially for girls who are just now starting their period and they're new to it so that was really cool that it came with this little information card um, with some period hacks on it so the main thing that I want to narrow in on in this kit and probably the number one thing that I recommend for you guys to have is the Ruby Love underwear with leak proof protection and I think this underwear is seriously amazing and to top it off I'm gonna open it up and show you guys it is so cute like the design of the actual underwear itself I think is so awesome so here's what it looks like they have cute little hearts on them and you guys can obviously pick your size and then it's like a built-in like pad almost in the underwear which I think is really cool you can wear this underwear with or without a tampon but this is designed to collect your flow so you don't necessarily have to wear it with a tampon unless you know you just kind of want that extra protection but I really like it because in the back like you can't even really tell that there's something in it like it's pretty smooth so I think that's really really awesome and I love the design so the material is really really nice too it feels very very soft and it's hugging on your skin so you can wear it with leggings and it's probably not going to show through very much so this period underwear like I said within the period kit which is $49.99 can be worn with or without a pad or a tampon for 100% leak proof protection so you guys don't have to worry about leaking through this underwear or getting it on your pants or anything like that you can wear this with complete confidence knowing that you are not going to have any accidents like I did for example at school where I bled through my pants so the awesome thing about this underwear that gives me peace of mind is it contains an intuitive technology that allows this underwear to collect up to two and a half tampons worth of blood which I think is pretty darn cool so if you wear this underwear it'd basically be like you went through two and a half tampons because that's how much blood it can hold and it can collect obviously without leaking through or anything so you won't have to worry about that which I think is super super awesome this underwear also doesn't contain any PFAs any PULs or any nano silvers mentioned by Ruby Love which I think is awesome I know I'm still starting to build the kit and I just now started talking to you guys about it but I did want to throw in here that I do have a 10% off code that you guys can use if you are interested in getting your own Ruby Love period kit you guys can use the code Brie Loves Ruby 10 I'll put it on the screen here and I'll put it in the description box below as well as the link to the period kit and you guys can use that code to get 10% off your period kit which I think is super awesome and thanks to Ruby Love for that code that was very generous of them so personally to make it easier I take the underwear out of the packaging to go ahead and put it in my kit that way I can you know fit everything in here nice and snug and I won't really have that big bulky box so I just took it out of the box that it came in and then slid it right down on in here so the next thing that I include in my Ruby Love period kit that it comes with are some double-sided pads and I think it's really really awesome that these pads are double-sided and you get three in here which is a pretty generous amount so I like these because they're still compact enough and thin enough to where they're gonna fit in my period kit and not be bulky so I just slide those right down on in there next to the period underwear and they fit perfectly it's really important to have pads in your kit especially you know if you're on a tampon person because you always want to have extra pads on you so you don't have an accident like me 
um, that happened at school to where I didn't have any extra pads and then I ended up bleeding through my pants. So you always want to have a backup. Usually I try to keep at least three to four on me in my kit. That's how much that I recommend for you guys to keep, especially if you're just starting out and you don't really know how heavy your flow is going to be yet. It's really good to always keep some extra pads in your kit. The next really important item that I recommend building your kit with are some of these hygienic wipes. Ruby Love also includes these in the kit. They have their own hygienic wipes that they include in here and I also like these because once again it's all about convenience and things being compact being able to fit in here. So those fit right in on top of my pads and you know it's really important to have hygienic wipes in your kit. I just feel like you know because you never know when you're A going to have an accident and need to wipe yourself down or B it's just nice when you go to the bathroom to kind of use a wipe just to refresh down there because no one likes you know smelling stinky everybody likes to feel fresh so I love having that in my kit and I feel like that's why it's really important just to have some wipes in there a for accidents and b so you can use it to freshen up next item in here is just a little mini hand sanitizer which is also very very important um, especially if you go to the bathroom and you know like the hand washing station's not working you can always use some hand sanitizer you know you always want to make sure you sanitize or wash your hands before you know you use the bathroom and touch down there and also after you use the bathroom and after you put in a new tampon or pad so it's really important and especially now with coronavirus and everything going on to make sure you have some hand sanitizer in your kit. Next thing that I have in my kit are some tissues because you never know when you're going to need tissues, whether that be if you need to use it when you're changing your tampons or pads or if you just have a little cold while you're on your period and you need some tissues. So definitely I feel like that's why it's important to have that in there just because you never know when you're going to need some or have an accident or you know you're going to need to clean up something or have a stuffy nose. The next thing that I have here in my kit is some chamomile tea and I actually heard that chamomile meal is really good to help relax you and it's also really good for cramps. Um, I used to drink tea when I used to have really bad cramps so I really really like that they include a mini package of tea in your kit because this is also important to have so it could help relax you and then it also could help with some cramps. The next two things in here that I like to build my kit with as well is this Ruby Love Stress Ball because believe it or not if I would have had one of these when I first started my period I would have loved it. I think it's so so cool because if you get stressed out or if you even have really bad cramps and you feel like you know you can't get in a comfortable position or move straight like just using this stress ball to have to squeeze believe it or not can actually as it should be really stress relieving within the period kit the next thing that i have is also a mini sponge and i like this because it fits perfectly down in here with everything else in the kit i really like the idea of having a mini sponge and i feel like it's really important to keep in your kit because if you're like me and you're on the go a lot you never know when you're going to need like a little travel sponge or if you're like at a friend's house and you just want to wash up it's nice to have a little sponge on you just to kind of clean yourself up down there and the next few things i have in the kit kind of go with hygiene purposes so this first thing is a body lotion that ruby love actually includes in the kit which I think is really really awesome and honestly it smells pretty good too you guys I was kind of surprised because usually I'm really picky on my lotions but that one I liked a lot and it smelled really good and then next they also include some shampoo and conditioner so like I said if you're on the go like me usually when I'm on my period I tend to sweat a lot more than what I would normally so I tend to have to wash my hair a lot more which is why I feel like it's really important to have shampoo and conditioner in your kit at least many bottles of it because you never know when you're gonna want to feel like washing your hair and and washing my body and my hair and getting clean makes me feel a lot better when I'm on my period as well so that's why I would keep that in my kit also I have the Ruby Love bath gel that they also include in here so like I said you know this can kind of go along with keeping a sponge with you if you kind of just want to freshen up at a friend's house or freshen up on the go if you're on a road trip or something and you're like oh my gosh I don't have any body wash with me but you like want to stop you know and freshen up it would be really really good to have this and use it with your sponge just to kind of make sure your body feels fresh and you feel clean down there because I I know periods can get messy so that's why I feel like this is really important to have in the kit as well. And the next thing I have is kind of like a personal preference thing and I'm really glad that Ruby Love included this in the kit and it is a lip balm and then you have the cute red Ruby Love logo around it and my lips get so chapped especially when it's that time of the month and when I'm on my period. I don't know why for some reason but they just tend to get super dried out so I don't know if you guys have that same problem but this lip balm actually has aloe vera in it and it's bubblegum flavor so it makes your lips soft and it tastes really Really good and that's why I feel like this is really important to have in your kit because you never know when you're gonna have chapped lips some people experience it some people don't but I feel like it's better safe than sorry to go ahead and have one in your kit the next thing that I'm putting in my Ruby Love period kit to build it are these socks and this also comes in the kit when you buy it and it looks like this they're red and then they say Ruby on it and then they have a cute little heart which I think is so so cute these socks believe it or not are super super soft and they're one size fits all so you don't have to worry about you know having to pick a size or them not not fitting when you get your period kit. I really like this. Personally.
personally, I don't wear socks a whole lot, but my feet do get cold, especially in the winter time. And I do tend to get a little bit more colder when I'm on my period. So these are nice because they can help keep my feet warm. Um, and I can just wear them around the house, lounge around in them, or also just have an extra pair of socks when I need it. So I feel like that's important to keep in your period kit because you know, who wants to be cold? And we all love a nice good pair of socks. Next thing in here I think is really, really important. And it's actually a little miniature heating pad. And it looks like this. It's the traditional Ruby Love Red Heart, which I think is awesome. Not only is it really, really pretty, but it's like that cool gel pack. It can be used as a heating pad or it can be used as a cool gel pack. So whether you're, you know, you're hot and you kind of want to let it get cold and use it on your face, or if you're having really bad cramps and you want to heat it up in the microwave and use it as a heating pad, you can do that as well. So it's kind of like a two in one, which I think is really, really cool. Cause when I first saw this, I thought it was just a cold pack, but it is actually a cold and hot pack. So you can use it as a heating pad or you can use it as like, you know, a cute little cold pack if you want to put it on your forehead or something like that just to cool off. So I think it's really important to keep this in your kit, mainly for cramps. I would personally mainly use it as a heating pad because I don't know about you guys, but I get cramps awful when I'm on my period and they are seriously so awful to the point where I feel like I can't even get up sometimes. So I definitely feel like it's very important to have this heating pad in your kit and I'm really, really glad that Ruby Love includes this in the kit because for me, it's something that I could not go without when it's that time of the month. Next thing that they include in here is actually a tiny red hair tie, which I also feel like is really important to include in your period kit and any emergency kit alone, just because I feel like you never know when you're gonna need to pull your hair back or get it out of your face or if you're really hot one day and you need to pull your your hair up so I feel like it's always important to have a hair tie in your kit and on you at all times. Next thing that I have in my kit which I thought was actually really cool um, is actually a sleeping face mask and believe it or not this could have actually came in a handy for me a long time ago because I find that I sleep better when I'm in complete darkness so if you're getting trouble sleeping at night or if you just want to kind of close out all the light if you're sleeping during the daytime it's very very important to have a sleeping mask because sleep is one of the most important things that you need to get and that you need to get to stay healthy especially when you're on your period you don't need to go without sleep when your body is you know already tired from having a period it's very important to make sure you get your rest so having one of these in your kit at all times is very important to make sure you can get a good night's sleep next two things that come in here is this little love bobby pin and these two bedazzled bobby pins which i thought were really cool and then it also comes with this little bracelet and it's like an orange bracelet with a pendant on it and it says make a wish up at the top it says put on this jewelry and make a wish when the chain has worn through legend says your wish will come true so that's just kind of like a cool little keepsake just to brighten your mood you know during your period and I really like that you know they have this in the kit because you can use these like little bobby pins just to kind of fix your hair up and make yourself feel beautiful and then you can also put this bracelet on just to kind of brighten your mood and give you something to look forward to when it's that time of the month so I thought that was really cool that this was included in here in here ruby love included a heart pencil and then they also included a pop socket so um i love pop sockets i think they're really handy i thought it was awesome that they included this in here and then also a pencil because you never know when you're going to need to write things down and the pencil also goes with something else that is actually included in this kit as well next thing in here is a be you do you for you a personal journal for your thoughts and i can't tell you how awesome i think this is and this is definitely going in my period kit as well and also you can use the pencil that they gave you to write down all of your thoughts because when I'm on my period and when it's that time of the month I don't know why but I just get really really emotional obviously and I get really moody and sometimes I think of some of the craziest things and you know sometimes I'll think of something and I'll forget to write it down and I wish I would have had one of these little notebooks back then so I definitely feel like it's really important to keep a little notebook and a pencil in your kit for when you can write down your random thoughts when you think of them so you don't forget next thing in here that comes in the period kit that I'm keeping in my period kit and I think is really awesome is a heart mirror and it kind of goes with the ruby love theme so if you're putting on your chapstick if you're trying to fix your hair you can keep a nice little compact mirror with you on the go I feel like it's always important to keep a mirror in your kit because you never know when you're gonna need to freshen up or when you're going to need a mirror Ruby Love also included these fun little tattoos in the kit, which I think is really, really cool, especially if you just want to do something if you're bored or if you want to do something to kind of make yourself feel better. And one of my favorite things in the kit, it has a lot to do with self-care because I feel like self-care is really important when you're on your period. So this is very important to have in your kit. And it is a face mask and it's in my favorite scent, which is pomegranate. I don't know about you guys, but pomegranate is really good for your body and it's really good for your skin. So I was really, really glad when I saw that they included a pomegranate face mask in this period kit. Like I said, I feel like it's really important to keep in your kit just because you know self-care is 
you know, really important. And you should take, you know, whether it's five to 10 minutes, you should take a little bit of time for yourself at the beginning or end of your day, just to do something for you and make yourself feel a little bit better. Face masks are probably one of my favorite things to do on my period. So I definitely recommend it to you guys. And I recommend for you to keep this in your kit as well. So that is everything that I have in the Ruby Love period kit. And I told you guys why I loved each of the items, why I think they're important to keep in your kit. If you have any questions for me about any of the items in the kit that I showed you, feel free to comment down below. And don't forget that if you are interested in purchasing this period kit from Ruby Love and getting everything that I just showed you in your kit when you purchase it, don't forget to use the code BRELOVESRUBY10 at checkout to get 10% off your whole entire period kit. I will have the code as well as Ruby Love's website and the link to everything that I've mentioned in this video down in the description box below. Once again, I do want to express the main reason why I really recommend this period kit is for the awesome period underwear, which like I mentioned before is leak proof. I love it because this underwear offers full protection against leaks and stains so you can wear it confidently knowing that you're not going to leak through and have a disaster like I did at school. The underwear also has five layers of absorbency which is really cool. Um, I put a little info card earlier in the video about the underwear but I'll put it again here at the end of the video just in case you guys missed it and I'll also link it down below as well as all the other information that I mentioned in this video. If you guys have any questions like I said feel free to comment down below. But I really hope that this video was beneficial to you guys and that you guys got a little bit of insight on some fun things to keep in your own period kit and I really hope that you guys decide to go out and purchase the Ruby Love period kit and kind of take some of the items in it and build your own kit. You can keep some out. You can, you know, put some items in, do whatever you want to do with the items in the kit. I think all of them are pretty versatile, but I think all of them do have, you know, importance as to why you should keep it in your kit. So all of them definitely do serve a purpose, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, everything that I mentioned will be linked in the description box below. Huge thanks to Ruby Love for sponsoring this video. I really do appreciate it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.